Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to create a simple notes app using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. As you can see, I have already built a project. Let's test it. So we can add note here and when we click add button, it will display here. As you can see, it looks good. So let's build it together. So let's create together. I will create a new folder and name it notes app and open with VS code. So let's create index.html and style dot CSS. Sorry. Style dot CSS. So add HTML boilerplate and in the title tag we are gonna name it as notes app. Let's add CSS to style dot CSS. So let's add a header and let give it a class name of header and h1 h1 let's say name is notes app so that's it and we'll add a division con we'll add a div and name it as class container and inside another we will add another div let's name it class input container in this division we will add an input and a button let's say input type text Google class name of input and placeholder text of enter your note here and we will add a button add note so let's open live server I am using a live server extension if I click here, it will open in. So, I'll open it in. I will open it in Chrome. So, as you can see, it is working. Let's design it using style.css. Let's go to style.css and give some basic styling. I'll make it padding of zero, margin zero, box sizing of border box. Then inside body, I will give color board of step three 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 and font size of. 1.2rm and background color of let's see which background color I choose body copy you can see So I'm gonna add a font called enter. You can go to googlefonts.com, fonts.google.com and just search here enter and you will click it. I'm just gonna select bold and you can select a text. I am gonna select bold and medium. 
broad and regular very bold and we are gonna see here link tag and copy this and add in below you can add here so as you can see we can your text style changes automatically here we will design it better soon so let's go and change font and done that's it so it looks quite good if you want you can choose any font you like so i'm gonna go to here header give some padding top of let's say torem and make it text align center looks good and give some margin bottom of torem to then that's it let's design container container let's give max max width 50 rem so now we can adjust okay, let's give to rem on top and auto so and then we're gonna design input container class input container display flex let's give it an width of 80% of container then give a margin of let's say 1 gram and auto so that it looks center justify content will make it space between so there is space between and so input container input we are gonna give it a width of let's say 26 ram padding of 0 0.5 ram on top and bottom and 1 ram at both sides looks good we are gonna remove background none so that it looks transparent and border one pixel solid grayish color stack 333 looks good so there should be let's give margin bottom of 3 rem okay then we will design we should add a class card button I class button we are gonna add a padding of 10 pixel on top and bottom and 20 pixel on both sides looks good background color let's change it to I'm gonna use this car you can copy this let's see it is transparent let's see which color we are using but I will copy this color so let's copy all this so I'm gonna copy this background color so I will I have given padding top and bo top bottom 10 pixels sides 20 background color and border of 1 pixel solid light color let's remove this one because I already have in body tag and box shadow of so slide shadow to visible so let's change it to 70% 
so it looks good. So button. So let's give a background color of let's say dark. Let's make it little dark. And change the color to text to white. Cursor pointer. Looks good. So everything is done. Here I'm gonna add another container. In this container, I'll add in under an another list and input list. So input list. So I'm gonna make it display flex and flex direction column so that I can give give us some gap between let's say one rem all right so we will design list items I have given background color so let's copy all this I given background color with some light color font size is 16 pixels so let's make it 1.4m with this 200 pixels padding border radius of 5 pixels and some slight shadow so let's remove this all so this is our app so styling part is done so let's add some javascript so we'll add an index dot js let's link it below the body tag script call src index dot js sorry index dot js so we're gonna select first we are gonna select this input so constant input so let use let's use let because we are going to change the value after clicking so input document dot key selector let's say input so let's add a class name to the input if i did not add so i already added so let's select the button to constant button is equal to doc document dot query selector and button so let's also select this input list container so that we can insert elements here constant input notes container document dot core selector what was the class name here input list so let's copy this and add so so let's refresh so first we are going to add an event listener to button when we click when we click this button this item in this notes is going to display below here so let's select the button dot add event listener and we are going to insert click because that's what going to happen then add function event so at when the, when the button clicks happens we are going to grab this text first so let note item is equal to input 
dot value so let's check it what it is working or not not item sorry I'll change this doc so the side okay if you want you can make it responsive as well so let's add css yes it is working so i'm gonna create a list item const list is equal to document dot create element uh, list and we are going to select this list item and add some text content and select it to node item that we from the input so now we are going to select nodes container and append child element and select list element so let's see it is working css yes it is working and it so after after one click we are going to see let's css when this when it is displaced here we are going to make it empty so let's grab that input and value and select it as empty so css when when the click happens the css will be displayed here and this is going to be empty for the next input but there's a problem see if you click it it's going to display empty nodes so we want to avoid that so all these things going to happen only if there is a note item so node item yeah so if this is empty it is not going to happen anything so if i click html css java script yes that's it if you want you can make a design changes and make it responsive as well and if you can also select inputs and make changes so thank you for subscribing it was a great project please do subscribe and comment and share it thank you